my name is Kat and today I'm going to do my Christmas Booktubeathon wrap up. So the Christmas Booktubeathon just ended and oh man, it was a lot of things descriptive words go here. It was fun and exhausting and surprisingly productive and just so many things. Overall, awesome. Awesomeness ensued. Okay, so first let's talk about books. Let's talk about books, baby. Let's talk about what we read. Sorry. Here are the books I read. When in doubt, gray space. It's my life motto. So I ended up reading three and a half books. Now don't be too impressed by that statement because these books average like 230 pages. They're pretty short. But I mean, I did read a grand total of 755 pages. So be a little impressed. Just a little though, because these pages are really like, the font is pretty large and there's a lot of space on them, so. But yeah, I completed the first three books of the Confessions of Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison, and I'm about halfway through the fourth book, as you can see. I'm really glad that I chose to read these because they're really like the perfect kind of book for a readathon. They're pretty short, and they're really funny, and they're just fun, light reads. Like, there's nothing too complex or philosophical you're left pondering. Except maybe, you know, how exactly one might to go about becoming the girlfriend of a sex god. Moving on, my next topic is reading sprints, because I actually hosted a bunch of reading sprints this weekend on the Booktubeathon Twitter. You guys were tweeting me pictures of your books and like quotes to meet the challenges that I set out for you, and it was just awesome. Even though I didn't get like any reading done while I was hosting the sprints because there were just way too many distractions. Like Twitter was going nuts. I was trying to reply to lots of people and I probably got a little too over eager with the retweet and the favorite buttons, but you know, it was a good time. The most stressful part was definitely keeping an eye on the clock and like making sure the sprint started and ended on time. And that aspect definitely got easier as the weekend went on and I got more used to it. But the first few sprints that I hosted had me really anxious and nervous and then, oh my god, I couldn't tweet. Like, I kept trying to send out a tweet to end a sprint and Twitter was just like, internal server error or some kind of bullshit that was just sending me all into a panic. It's funny now, I can laugh about it now, but in the moment, I was kind of having a meltdown. Like, oh my god, the world is in a panic because I couldn't end this sprint. This is the apocalypse, and there's just gonna be chaos now, chaos! And, oh, I've, I've ruined Booktubeathon. I've done it. I've ruined Booktubeathon. And also Christmas. But then I just tried Twitter from my phone and that worked fine, so crisis averted. Seriously, if anyone even noticed that I was a couple minutes late ending the sprint, they were probably just like, huh, cat's a little bit late ending the sprint. Eh continue reading. But yeah, after that unnecessary meltdown, it was pretty smooth sailing from there. I had a great time participating and helping to host the sprints, and it was just a great time all around. I'm totally satisfied with how this booktubeathon went, and I'm very much so looking forward to the next one. And finally, one last quick order of business before I peace out. I'm doing a giveaway right now. It is international, so anyone can enter. It's through Sublime, so you gotta click the link in the description to go there. And the prize is this super cute mod cloth dress that I actually own as well. So if you happen to be the lucky winner, then we're totally gonna be like dress twins. So yeah, a link to that is in the description. Go ahead and enter if you want to. Um, there's not a lot of entries so far, so if you like that dress and you want it, you actually have pretty decent odds of winning. The odds are in your favor, unlike Primrose Everdeen, who just like got the shaft in that deal for real. But anyways, I think that is everything I wanted to talk about in this video today, so let's wrap up this wrap up. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you have a great night, and I will have another vlog up soon, so I will see you then. Goodbye!